mother of the bride. On it. Wait, hold on. What's wrong? This was our own mother's wedding, married 60 years. Think of that, 60 years. See the lace there? I'd like to incorporate that in our dress, don't you think? Hmm, she is going to love it. You're always adding that romantic touch. And someday, your name's gonna be on these dresses. Yeah, someday. <laughs> Am. Great news. The Bremers are adding a cocktail party before the wedding. All new dresses. Oh, um, the, uh, isn't that supposed to be when next week? We're just gonna have to roll up our sleeves and work a little overtime. <laughs> um, Rebecca, I promised that I would give them some time off. I'm sorry, but the Bremers are one of my biggest clients. The paparazzi will be there. This could be another cover. Uh, I know. It's just, we, um... I'll pay you double time, I promise. <laughs> Tinkering again? Oh, yes. Um, Rebecca, um, I thought on this dress, if we rounded the bottom up more towards the knees in this dress, it would actually help. help. Smooth out the curves. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Yes, I like it nice. <gasps> That's... Mrs. Bremo. Keep at it. Heidi, darling. Rebecca, darling, thank you so much. I know it's late notice, but we can't be caught in the same dresses. Not a problem at all. In fact, I made a slight change to your dress. Very subtle, but it'll curb the curves just a little, if you know what I mean. You're a genius, <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> yeah, genius. How long are you going to keep covering for her? I am not covering for her, Reg. I'm just doing my job. No, you're doing her job. They're your design, Cindy. You should start getting credit for them. I know. You know it's always been my dream to have my own design line. Yeah. Well, you are the wizard behind the curtain. Rebecca promised me that she helped me start my own brand. It just has to be the right timing. It's never going to be the right timing, because without you, she's done. You know, she's going to dangle that carrot forever. No, I'm not going to let that happen. And besides, Rebecca, she toiled herself for years, and she is a genius when it comes to business. And you are a genius at designing dresses. They should be your own. They will be. Someday. Mm -hmm. Some fun news in this morning. This year's Hamilton Charity Ball is going to be held right here in Philadelphia at the Hamilton's historic Chestnut Hill Estate. America's largest and most opulent private residence is home sweet home for Gerald, Gloria, Virginia, and Brooke Hamilton. As everyone knows, the Hamiltons are American royalty. Gerald and Gloria Hamilton are close friends with the royals, and Gloria Hamilton herself hinted that Prince Ronan Higgins, considered to be the world's most eligible bachelor, may in fact be the guest of honor. Of course, the burning question is, who will be Prince Ronan's date? The Hamilton Ball is going to be a who's who and the most sought-after invite of the year. In other news... Gloria Hamilton had a falling out with Rachel Mann, the biggest designer in Europe. Rebecca, the party's only two weeks away. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm gonna need more staff. This is my in to the highest level client. I mean, think of the rarefied air. And a raise. You want a raise? No, from my current staff. They haven't had a day off in a month. Agreed. How many dresses do you need? Gloria Hamilton, her mother-in-law, Virginia, daughter, Brooke. Whoever Prince Ronan brings as his date, somebody new, I'm sure. I think the expiration date on his lady friends is a month or less. So that's at least four. Who knows how many others she'll invite. Okay, but it's only two weeks away, and we have the Bremers and all our other clients that we have to take care of. I know. And when we're done with this, we'll talk about more than just a raise for the others. You mean helping me start my own brand? Before too long. Prince Ronan will be forced to get married. If I do this right, I'll be designing a royal wedding. <laughs> I wouldn't ask. You know. 
Of course. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> oh, I have to leave. I'm having lunch with Gloria Hamilton, and I have to get my nails done. I'll let her know everything's going to be perfect. Seriously? I know, I know. It's going to be a lot of work. But if we get this done, you're all going to get a week's vacation paid. And you're all going to get a raise. Let's get to work. I used to think you learned the lesson, crossed her off the list. But now your phone is ringing, I'll take mine. Sorry that. Oh, wow. You're Prince Ronan Higgins. Yes, I am. Last I checked. And you are? Cindy. Cindy Cordella. The last time I checked. Cindy, you have a uh, Giuseppe. Oh, I have a. Oh, <laughs> full makeup. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to interrupt your work. No, no, it's fine. It's um, totally fine, actually. Um, we were just working on all the dresses for the party. Well, Mrs. Hamilton's party. Nice. I'm Rebecca Raslin. Gloria says she's the best available. Is she here? Uh, no, she's actually out having lunch with Mrs. Hamilton. Right. Now that you mention it, I think I'm supposed to be there. My mother... The Queen? Yes? I'm sorry, this is just very weird. Right. Well, the Queen <laughs> uh, has charged Gloria with my care. She's like an aunt to me. I love to death, but she's driving me crazy. You think I was a schoolboy, the way she's watching over me? I don't think she's even realized I've snuck out on my own. Why do some of these have Rebecca Razan's name at the bottom, and these ones don't? Oh, well, I always have to make minor alterations. Your job is what, then? Head seamstress. Seamstress? Minor alterations? Um, yes, I get um, impulsive ideas. You see, I like to dare myself to be spontaneous. Spontaneous? Yes, as in, um, well, I get ideas in my head. <laughs> and before they leave my head, I have to get them on paper, which I know seems very out of character, since I'm just Miss Raslin's head seamstress. But you wouldn't know that about me because you don't know anything about my character. I'm sorry. Whew. I am talking too much. Well, since we're the seamstress, maybe you can help me. Uh-huh. Um, of course. Uh, what can I do with you for, for you? You do more than just dresses? Specifically, suits and the like? Yes, we do a lot of suits. I do mean something more in line with royalty, I hate to say. Yes, I can do that. Miss, Miss, Miss Raslin can do that, definitely. She can do anything. Perfect. As you can imagine, what I normally wear to this sort of thing can be quite stuffy. I thought I might change it up a little. What did you have in mind? Well... This is considered a private event, so I don't need to wear any official attire. I just don't want to look too... Stuffy. Yes. Yes. Okay. Have you ever considered growing a, a Van Dyke or a Verde or a Garbaldi? <laughs> <laughs> no, see, you know, my grandfather, he was rather famous for his Garibaldi, so I'd like to avoid that. Okay. What about a Fu Manchu? <laughs> no, 
less stuffy, if that makes any sense at all. Mm -hmm. Yes, it makes a lot of sense. Well, I'll pass on all that information to Miss Razan for you. I would appreciate that. Okay. Well, I should let you get back to work. Yes. It was nice to meet you, Cindy Cordella. You too, Prince Ronan. Just Ronan, please. But don't tell Mrs. Hamilton. She'll tell the Queen. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Nice meeting you all. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I just get these spontaneous ideas in my head and I just have to get them okay, down. Okay, go to lunch or you're all gonna get fired. All right, all right. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Uh. No family crest. Pardon me? Well, you said you want to look less official, so no royal crest on the jacket? Yes. I meant to say that before. Thank you. Good. Thanks. Yeah. Actually, no. That's not why I'm back. Would you like to have lunch? Lunch? Yes. Moi? Qui d'autre? Oh, no. I, I'm sorry. I couldn't possibly... Well, why not? Well, you're Prince Ronan. We established that earlier. And I'm me. We established that too. I know, but that's the point. What's the point? Well, why would someone like you want to go out with someone like me? Why would someone like you want to go out with someone like me? Who wouldn't? Exactly. But aren't you supposed to be having lunch with Mrs. Hamilton and Miss Raslin? I guess I was just feeling spontaneous. In the moment, impulsive. Out of character, even. But you wouldn't know it's out of character because we only just met. That's a good answer. So? So you can just do that? You can go to lunch with a perfect stranger? So you're saying you're perfect? Oh, no. I'm definitely not perfect. I jest. And I can assure you, even members of the royal family need to eat. But don't you usually get mobbed by people in paparazzi? Guess we'll find out. Okay. Cindy! Oh, crud. What? Cindy! Oh, double crud. I thought it'd be a good idea to take a rendering or two to show Gloria. <sighs> Have you come up with any? Miss Raslin, meet Prince Ronan. Oh, my, you... Our Prince Ronan. <gasps> Rebecca Raslin, it's such an honor to meet you. The pleasure's all mine. <gasps> Are you joining us today for lunch? No. Something has actually come up. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's unfortunate. Cindy, actually. Cindy what? I was just asking Cindy to lunch. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, Your Highness. I, I don't think that's going to be possible. You see, we're under tremendous pressure to get all the dresses finished. So she said. Another time? Yes, of course. And I'll see you at the estate for the fittings? I'll be there. Perfect. Uh, allow me to escort you out. Thank you. And, you know, remember, let's write. Thank you very much. What on earth was that about? Oh, we were just discussing what he was going to wear to the ball. And? And nothing. He actually asked you to lunch? Actually, yes. Cindy, sweetie. Not to mention we don't fraternize with the clients. He's a member of the royal family. The press would have a field day. Besides, his reputation precedes him. Don't get involved in some romantic folly. I wouldn't dream of it.
Rebecca's right. There's no way he was asking me out on an actual date. You're talented and smart. Why wouldn't he? But he's a prince. I'm not royal. Oh. I can't go out with him. Well, maybe the fact that you're a commoner is appealing to him. He has a reputation, you know. Expects me to fall for him at his feet. Stop. What makes him a royal anyway? Just because he was born into it? They get built up like some mythical beings, but some of them are actually humans. He was really nice. <laughs> That's a start. No, I mean, he was real. He wasn't trying to put on a show. There was definitely a connection between us. Didn't you see the connection? I saw some drool coming out of the side of your mouth. Okay, no, that did not happen. But when he came back, he was just real. Then Rebecca, she had to put an end to it. Oh, shocking. I know. She told me not to get caught up in the romantic follies of it all, which is her way of warning me to stay away. So? When are you seeing him again? I don't know, sir. <laughs> now get with your sewing. Okay. That butterfly does not look good. Sure. Hamilton Estate, may I help you? Yeah, hi, my name is Cindy Cordella. I'm here to do a fitting. I can't hear you. Oh, uh, my name is Cindy Cordella, and I'm here to do a fitting. <laughs> Your name, please. It's Cindy Cordella. I work for Rebecca Raslin. Do you have an appointment? Hello, are you still there? Yes, I I I'm here. Um. My name is Cindy Cordella. I'm here to do a fitting for the ball. <laughs> May I have your name? You must be Cindy. Gloria Hamilton. Oh, <laughs> I know who you are. It's very nice to meet you. Well, we're very excited to wear Rebecca Rasling to the ball. And so pleased that she was willing to take on such a massive undertaking on such short notice. Only the highest standards will do. Yes, especially when hobnobbing with such honest politicians, humble public servants, and lest we forget, unassuming royalty. Ordinary would never do around here. My mother-in-law, Virginia Hamilton. Oh, it's very nice to meet you as well. Aren't you adorable? Are you married yet, dear? Mother. Oh, uh, married? Um, <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, why not? Oh, Virginia, please. Well, there must be a reason. <laughs> well, I guess I haven't met the right guy yet. Maybe the right guy hasn't met you. Virginia, leave the poor girl alone. <laughs> Can we get started? Oh, yes, of course. If we put all the money that we're spending on the ball toward the charity, we wouldn't have to have a ball at all. The point is to raise awareness for the charity mother. The world will be watching, especially with Prince Ronan as our guest. It has to be perfect. It always does. Where would you like to set up? Well, wherever there's enough space. In that case, any room will do. Follow me. This is all for the ball? Well, most of it, yes. But we're also hosting a private dinner party for some of our more prominent guests. Oh, there's also a dinner party? Oh, relax. We already have our addresses for that. Not as formal. We wouldn't want to upstage the ball, would we? <laughs> no, of course not. Well, you can <laughs> sit up here. I'll get the others. Thank you. <laughs> so, your boss allows you out of the cellar after all? When I'm good, yes. My office still stands, you know. 
And what offer is that? Lunch. Oh, well, it turns out I'm not allowed to fraternize with the clientele. Well, they've told me not to fraternize with their seamstress, so we're even. But the difference is, I'll get fired. You won't. After seeing your alterations, I don't think your boss is going to be firing you anytime soon. I don't think you know Rebecca Raslin. You don't know the Hamiltons. Very tight with my mother. She's given them carte blanche to treat me like one of their own. I have to tell the line. But I'm willing to risk it if you are. How are your designs coming? I'm sorry, your alterations. Look, I didn't articulate my job description very well. These are all Rebecca Raslin's designs and hers alone. Uh-huh. There you are, Ronan. I thought you were waiting for me in the parlor. I got distracted, sorry. Ah, this must be our designer. Ah, uh, no, she's the head seamstress. Who? Julia Gilmore. Oh, uh, Cindy Cordella, I work for Rebecca Raslin. Ah, well, we're all excited. I'm not as hip to American fashion as some of the others, but I hear nothing but the best of it, Rebecca Raslin. She's wonderful and amazing. Hmm. Well, I'll be with the ladies, my darling. Nice to meet you, Cindy. You asked me to lunch, but you have a girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. Then who was that, darling? She was not exactly my girlfriend. Not exactly means sort of, which means the question still stands. It has been put upon us to be each other's date to the ball. By whom? My mother, of course. The Queen. She and my father are quite eager to get me married off to the right sort, of course. And I take it that she is the right sort. They seem to think so. Which means, Ronan, you have a girlfriend. Not exactly. Ronan, I think it'd be best if you leave the young lady to her work so that we can get started. Yes, of course. Sorry I distracted you. I think you'll make her uncomfortable if you sit and watch. Well, Gloria, I'm getting fitted as well. Isn't that right? What we discussed yesterday? You've already met? Yes, at their workshop. Cindy, the ladies would prefer another room. Less of a chill. Uh, in what room in this house isn't there a chill, Gloria? If you follow me, once again. Oh, yes, of course. I will await you here for my sizing. our seamstress. Hi. Hi, I'm Brooke Hamilton. Oh, yes, you are Mrs. Hamilton's daughter, correct? Yes, that is right. Are these the designs? Yes, I have several options for you. All I need to do is take your measurements and voila, you'll be wearing the latest Rebecca Rasm to the ball. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's not that simple. Her staff will be working day and night to get these done. <laughs> oh, yes, they will. My number is on the back of this card if you have any questions between now and then. I think we'll be fighting over a few of these. Oh, I'm wearing that one, sorry. <laughs> what do you think will compliment me best, Cindy? Oh, I really think that you'll look fantastic in anything. You're very sweet. <laughs> we should really be asking Rebecca, don't mm -hmm. you think? Isn't she coming? I mean, surely it'd make a difference if she actually met us. Yes, well, today is just about discussions and measurements, and then I'm going to relay all that information to Rebecca. Yes, but she can't know exactly what we should wear until she meets us. Brookie, you're in good hands. What would you know about it? You've known her five minutes. I'm sorry, is there no respect for the royal opinion on this side of the pond? Apologies. I had no idea that you were interested in being a fashion connoisseur until now. Brooke, Ronan is our guest. Maintain decorum, darling. Oh, don't mind us. Oh, no. <laughs> Ronan's like a brother to me. Yes, the cherished and respected brother you always wanted. Oh, you're so charming. Enough. Mm. On that note, I'm going to leave you ladies to it. Cindy? Mm -hmm. Yes, I will take your measurements. <laughs> I will start with you, Julia. Do you want to go back to looking stuffy? 
Ah, pardon? Well, I still need to measure you. Unless you want to go back to your old standard royal threads, which you say you always have to wear to these sort of events. Hmm. No. I'd like the Cindy Cordella special, please. You mean Rebecca Raslin? Do you say so? She has something in mind for you that I think you'll like. Be sure to tell her I appreciate that. Take off your jacket, please. I, uh... Sorry about the confusion. My situation with Julia. Is it really that confusing? Yes, in fact. Then why did you ask me to lunch, then? Must I really need a reason to ask you for lunch? Great works are performed not by strength, but patience and perseverance. Can I quote you on that? I think I read it in a book somewhere. <sighs> you still didn't answer my question. Well, I told you it was a spontaneous moment. Impulsive. And maybe out of character. Must a prince always be in character? Well, you do tend to gallivant the globe, accumulating a certain reputation. I suppose. It may not seem like it from my public persona, but my life is so mapped out. I hardly get to make many choices of my own. See, my parents are grooming me to be something that I might not be. Is that the future king? It's part of it. And does that life include a future queen? But of course. <laughs> it's all part of the royal public image. And Julia comes from a powerful political family. It's all part of the chess game that politics are. I probably shouldn't be boring you with all of this. No. I thought you were being nicely spontaneous. Which is okay by me. Okay, then. When I came to town, by myself, no press, no handlers, no posing for the paparazzi. Yeah, that was the first time I'd done that in a long time. It was refreshing. You were refreshing. Which is... what brought out that moment of spontaneity, I guess. Because of... Your momentary freedom, or me? Both. That's an honest answer. But the fact remains, you have a girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. Does she know that? Ah, Julia. Hi. Mm. You have trunks full of tuxes. Do you really need to be tailored? It would be inappropriate to wear something outdated to such a big event. The press can be rather harsh on things like that, right? Yeah, yeah uh, yes, right. Right. Uh, Virginia is ready for you. Oh, yes, of course. Excuse me. Any wondrous plans for Saturday evening, dear? Um, no. I'm just working. We are having a dinner party here Saturday evening. You should be our guest. Oh, no, I, I couldn't possibly, but thank you so much. Why not? Mother, the dinner is in honor of our guest, Prince Ronan. And? And I wouldn't dream of inviting someone without his consent. Well, in that case, I think it's a marvelous idea. Unless you have other plans. Honestly, Ronan, she'll be working on our dresses, and I mean, it'll be a miracle if they're done in time as it is. Then it's settled. I say it isn't. Wouldn't it be a good opportunity, Cindy, to spend a bit more time with everyone? Get to know them a little better? Get to know us? Yes, uh, to inspire more personalized dresses. Exactly. Exactly. So, it's settled. I am so confused. Aren't you the seamstress? Quite right. 
It does seem more prudent to invite Rebecca so that she can more personalize our dresses. Well, you know, Cindy is her eyes and ears, and... It's a very exclusive list. For crying out loud, Gloria, invite them both if you must. There'll be enough food to feed Philadelphia and half the poor in the state. The poor girl is working her tail off, making you look better than you are. Grandmother. Very well. Please, attend as our guest. I think it's a great idea. In fact, bring a date. Do come to the dinner party, dear. I have a feeling that you won't be the only one who's inspired. Yes, of course. So, you're going? Yeah, I'm going. It's a work thing. Ah, unreal. You're actually going to Prince Ronan's welcome party. So is Julia, just to be clear. Uh, his not girlfriend? No, it's his girlfriend, trust me. There's a big difference between a girlfriend and a date, and he told you she's just his date. Yeah, but she doesn't think that he's just her date, and that matters. Well, all that matters is what he thinks. I think he's confused. <laughs> Unconfuse him. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not playing that game. He should know what he wants. Yeah, he does. You should have seen all their faces when the grandmother invited me to go. They were all looking at me like evil stepsisters. Oh, which could lead to a fairy tale ending. Just checking the flow and the movement of the dress. It works perfectly. Cindy! Okay. Oh, in here. I need something to wear to the dinner party. Any thoughts? Yes, you have a few dresses you haven't worn. I will pull them from storage. Okay. Uh, nothing too formal, so I'm told. <laughs> Rebecca? Yes. I was asked to the party as well. The Hamilton party. <laughs> Don't be silly. Oh, yeah. She was invited. We already discussed fraternizing with the clients. No. No, it's nothing like that. Um, actually, uh, Virginia Hamilton asked me to attend. You see, they're all a bit concerned about what they're going to wear to the ball, so the thought is I would go. I would get to know their personalities, see how they walk, how they interact. That way, you can design their perfect dress for them. I guess I see the wisdom in that. I'm going to help you branch out on your own. But right now, it's important that the Hamiltons and Prince Ronan and his date show the world they are wearing Rebecca Roslin. And they need to know they are wearing Rebecca Roslin, if you know what I mean. So is that a yes? You have my blessing. Just do your best to blend in. The last thing we want to do is draw attention to ourselves. Her blessing? All the means to an end. Yeah. Whose end? Hello? Is this Cindy? Uh, yes. Who is this? It's Julia. Gilmore, Prince Ronan's date. Oh, yeah, hi. Sorry to bother you, but I wanted to let you know that the other girls and I, well, we've decided to have a little fun for the dinner party. We're going to dress casual, super casual, to be comfortable, if you know what I mean. Oh. Really? It'll be absolutely brilliant to see the look on their faces. Oh, yeah, okay. Are you sure? Yes, of course. Let's all have a sense of humor about this. It'll be good for Ronan. 
I hope I can count on you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, yeah. I, um, I definitely have something casual lying around, so yes. Wonderful. See you here. I'll talk to you later. Bye. What a unique choice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think I misunderstood. You see, I got a phone call and someone told me that... Help yourself to champagne hors d'oeuvres. Thank you. <laughs> Did you not get my text? No. No, I, I clearly didn't, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, dear. We decided... Well, Mrs. Hamilton caught word and forbade us. She was certain it would get back to their majesties. Prince Ronan is under her guardianship as well as her hospitality, after all, and didn't want him to be embarrassed. They have no sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that I'm going to go home and change. Oh, so, nonsense. You look better than most of the people here. Come, let's get you a drink. Oh, no, that's OK. I think I'm going to get myself a drink. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, you look good. Mm. Ooh, that's a bad T-shirt, though. I think I could have done better. It's really inappropriate. <laughs> Which one of them put you up to this? Does it matter? You possess trust. That's a good thing in my eyes. Besides, my instinct was correct. And what instinct is that? You're a threat. <laughs> Me? A threat? Mm-mm. <laughs> you're the type of person who makes these kinds of people uncomfortable. Because you're real, and it reminds them that they're not. You stand out. Makes them jealous. Just make sure you get the last laugh. Right. Well, good job fitting in, Cindy. You only live once. <laughs> Well, great works are performed not by strength, but by patience and perseverance. Huh. Have you eaten? No, I haven't. Oh. I am so hungry. Welcome. Gloria, darling. Rebecca, you look marvelous. Ugh, you always know just what to wear. <gasps> So many people are waiting to see you. Oh, Miss Raslin, the designs you came up with for our dresses are positively perfection. Oh, we are so excited. Well, you ladies certainly make it easier to define beauty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's too <laughs> Excuse me. Why are you wearing that? <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm envious. Have you noticed how everyone in this family always seems to be posing for a photograph even though one isn't being taken? You look really beautiful tonight, Mrs. Hamilton. Please call me Virginia. <laughs> Although it takes a lot more work at my age. But just once, I'd love to be able to be seen in public wearing normal clothes. Don't take that for granted. I won't. You're a dear. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Here we go. Oh, my. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Oh, you 
doing? You're trying not to fit in. Honestly, Bona, the photographers will be here soon. Perfect. Everyone, gather around, form a circle. So, since this party is being held in my honor, I thought that we would continue a Hamilton tradition before we dine. Now, those who want to play, pick a card. Ronan, dear. Prince Ronan. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> so, uh, I don't get to play these games much back home, so I appreciate it if you just would indulge me. Pick a card. Not you, dear. Oh. Pick a good one. Perfect. Cindy? I'm not really a part of the traditions here. You are now. Come on, pick a card. It'll be fun. Nice jeans. You're not the only outcast here. Okay, so, first game up, minute to win it. Now, you will have one minute to pass. This ball from your elbow to your partner's, but you can't touch it with your hands. If you're playing, put your card in the box. Thank you. No peeking. I won't. Thank you. Get it in there. Yes. Get it in there. <laughs> Okay, so, first up, we have Eight of Diamonds. <laughs> That's me. Perfect. And then next, we have the Queen of Spades. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Great, so, Rookie, you have called first, you get the ball. Thank you. Go. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we have the Ace of Diamonds. Oh. Mm. Well, and then playing with you, we have the ah, Jack of Hearts. My card. You should be so kind. Thank you. Cindy, come on. <laughs> you start with the ball. Count down for us. Starting. Now. This is silly. Come on, right. just a minute. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, no, careful. <laughs> Spin. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. okay, okay. All right, okay. we're going to try you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Come on. No, no. Oh, no! <gasps> I am so sorry. I am so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's an accident. I am so sorry. I'm an not... accident. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I need another dress. What are we doing out here? Oh, well, the valet said it was going to be a while, so I figured that this spot was the safest place to hide. No one's that upset in there. Come on, I got a good laugh. I ruined Brooke Hamilton's dress in front of everyone. Brookie? Well, she's already changed into one of her hundreds of others. Okay, it didn't start with just a dress. They've all been looking at me like that ever since I walked through the door. It's probably because you're wearing that very bad T-shirt. Mm. Okay. Hey, Mr. Rock and Roll. Oh, rock and I roll? did not know that you rocked and rolled. Gonna rock out. <laughs> Look, the Hamiltons can be difficult. They have their moments. But they're not always nice. Yeah. Nice would have been nice. <sighs> I should have known better. Mm. Then why did you come? Why do you think? Yeah, me too. Except you're not the world's most eligible bachelor, Ronan. You don't even realize it, do you? Or if you do, then you're just as bad as your reputation. My reputation? You have a reputation with the ladies. Well, that's just the press. And yes, I have dated a lot, but that's just because I haven't found the right woman yet. Doesn't mean I'm not looking. Oh, oh my God. Oh. 
Still here? Oh, pretty much just everyone. Is there a back door that I could go through? Yes, but you'd have to walk past several windows and your clothes aren't dry yet. Not a party you'll soon forget. Oh, please. Oh, do not remind me. You made it better. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad that I was everyone's entertainment for the evening. I am definitely going to lose my job now. Now, we both know your boss can't fire you. You're the real reason she's a success. And people should know who the actual genius is. Well, I admit to being the designer. And I would love to own my own shop one day. But my job with Rebecca is a part of the path. She's not a terrible person, and I really couldn't do what she does. Which is what? Fit into this high society world. Well, maybe it should be the other way around. People like them trying to fit into your world. No. My world is not the kind of world that should be on the cover of magazines, trust me. <laughs> Lucky you. Why are you so unhappy? You're the royal prince. Exactly. When I was about eight, I, uh, I used to help my grandfather restore antique furniture. He used to say that he needed something that he could see, touch, and feel, you know, when we restore something. We're really restoring part of ourselves. It was the thing I loved most in the world before I was sat down and told of my noble obligations. It's one of the reasons why I like coming here. I can be myself. So you'd rather restore antiques than be the prince? No. But I want to make sure I'm doing something tangible. Philanthropy. You know, I spent my adult life dedicated to humanitarian efforts, things that I know will make the world a better place. I mean, it's the least service that my life should attend to. Well, to me, that's the very definition of being noble. position to do all those things i'm heir to the throne i'll have other more pressing responsibilities what is the real reason that you asked me to lunch i'm being spontaneous in the moment out of character exactly so be spontaneous be out of character live in the moment no one can stop you from living your life. Not even the king or queen. Excuse me, Ronan. But Gerald has some people you'd like you to meet in the cigars in the parlor. Right. Um. Well. Don't go anywhere. Plus, Virginia wants you to spend the night. She insists. She can't wait to see what happens in the morning. I know he's asked you to stay, but your van is ready and waiting. I think it's best if you leave. Oh, okay. Cindy, you know you make it obvious to everyone. I make what obvious? Clearly to everyone but you. I came here tonight on business. That's all. Except you didn't need to be here on business, did you? No, I guess I didn't. I don't blame you. I'm not even mad, actually, which is kind of weird. Because I should be, I think. Thing is, certain feathers just don't flock together. You have a crush on Prince Ronan. <laughs> Who doesn't? 
But don't fall for it. You're going to get hurt. What do you really like about Ronan? That really isn't any of your business, is it? You made it my business the second you pulled that prank on me. You want to know who went out of his way not to make me feel stupid tonight? Ronan, because he's a nice person who feels crushed under his family's obligation. He's been down this road before, dear. Then he comes to his senses and realizes there's one universal truth in his life. One day being king. And not even the sweetest little dove in the world can change those feathers. I know you're not going to believe me, but I'm actually looking out for you. getting your nails dirty, don't you? Not very fitting for a future king, is it? Maybe it'll make you the people's king. Peace offering? Thank you, yes. Did you hear the news? No. Your father is going to step down from the throne at the end of the year. Why didn't he call me? The Queen spoke to Mrs. Hamilton. Apparently, they feel it's the only way to rein you in, so to speak. I'm not ready to become king. Is it really so bad? Uh, don't answer that. I'm sorry you feel so obligated, including with me. You, you've never felt like an obligation. But it was a lot of pressure, and that was two weeks ago. Things have changed. They certainly have. You were happy at the dinner party. It's the first time I've seen you laugh in a long time. That wasn't being faked for the cameras. I like that side of you. I just wish I was the one that made you feel that way. Julia, I... Cindy, it's Ronan again. I'd love to speak if you can call me back. Bye. Please, please tell me you'll have him done on time. Well, it's going to be close, but yes, we're going to get it done. Okay. Two days until the ball. Final fittings are tomorrow. After that dinner party fiasco, we need to exceed their expectations. I'm really sorry about what happened. Let's put it behind us, water under the bridge. All will be forgiven when they see my work. <laughs> you know how I appreciate you. All of you. All your hard work. Your time will come, I promise. Oh, I should have mentioned this before. I've been invited to attend the ball. No shock there, but I wasn't sure for a moment. You must come up with something fabulous for me. Another dress? Yes, of course. It's for me. I'll leave it up to you. And I'll inform the Hamiltons that everything will be on schedule. Oh, and I should have mentioned this before. Huh. Another dress. 
We'll work around the clock and we'll get it done. You'll make them look great. There'll be no stopping you. No, there never is. And tomorrow, officially, you are all going to be on a week's vacation paid. I don't want to see any of you in this room. Especially you. <laughs> and there'll be no stopping us either. No, there won't be. Love that blue. Mm. Hello, everyone. <gasps> the dresses. Uh, yes, there's still time to do any more last-minute alterations before tomorrow. We can try them on one at a time and present them to each other like a fashion show. Can we finish with the caterer first? We'll only be a minute. Oh, yes, of course. I'll go set up. particular reason why you haven't been answering my calls? Oh, I've just been really busy. For a phone call? Look, I don't understand why you keep on calling me. Your situation is very clear, and to the entire world. You're gonna be king, and... I really don't fit into that equation. I thought we had this conversation. I just need to concentrate on my work. Yeah, sure. Might I see mine at least? Yes, of course. Um, you said you didn't want to look too royal or too majestic. So... It's exactly perfect. I'm glad. You're a genius, Cindy. Thank you. I knew you were a designer from the start. May I? Yes. Well, I'll let the ladies know you're ready when they are. There is no time. I'm gonna fix this, trust me. Oh. Cindy, it's not the end of the world. It's the end of my job. It's the end of everything I... For what it's worth. The look on their faces was priceless. Julia, can I speak to you, please? One moment, please. This whole thing with Ronan... I want him to be happy. I wasn't ever really after him. I was after what it would mean to have him. Suddenly, that doesn't feel good enough anymore. It's just hard for either of us to get out from our own shadows. What do you think that I should do? For starters, fix the dresses, if you can. <sighs> I think the rest will take care of itself. Good luck. Rebecca, 
Hi. Oh, no, no, no. I have everything under control. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no. Uh, hello? Oh, I think we have a bad connection. Hello? I can't hear you. Hello? Okay, Cindy, you've got this. Whew. We got this. Ronan, what are you doing here? Well, that's just to see if you're all right. Yeah, I'm fine. No, no, I'm not fine. We ran out of fabric for the original dresses, so I have to use what I have in stock here, which meant all new designs. You just designed four new dresses? Yes. That's amazing. Where's Rebecca? Well, she's in New England. She won't be back until tomorrow. Right. The rest of your staff? They're on vacation. Then it's just me and you? Uh, well, I don't know anything about fashion or sewing or any of this, but... If I can restore things with my hands, I'm sure I can be of some help. Okay. Let's put you to work then. Right. So, uh, the ball is at 8 p.m. tomorrow? Yes, right. The ladies will need, what, 30 minutes to get ready? Two hours. Two hours? Okay. It's just after six, which gives us almost 24 hours. Reggie. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing here? Rebecca texted me in a panic. <gasps> I thought that you were on vacation. I haven't started my vacation yet, or am I interrupting something? Uh, no, 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 not at all. I mean, you know, and besides, all hands on deck, as they say. No, oh, tell us what to do. Well, let's lay out the fabric. Okay, see this drawing here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have a sketch out, so take this. Yes, I will tell you. time is it? 6.05. Nobody can get a hold of anyone. Cindy, Rebecca, no one is answering their phone. We are in a panic here, Ronan. I'm going to call you back. <laughs> Wake up, Cindy. Who eats pineapple pizza? <laughs> Cindy, it's after six. Reggie, it's after six. After six? Oh, I have a dozen missed calls from Rebecca. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Rebecca, hi. Cindy, don't hang up, it's me. Cindy, please, please tell me you got it done. Yes, yes, we got it done. Oh, I don't want to call until I know what to tell them. Are you at the estate? Can you speak up? We are on our way. You're on your way? Our way? Who's with you? I'll see you there. Bye. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, no. We actually got it done. I wasn't just dreaming that, right? We finished. Uh, nothing can go wrong now, right? What could possibly go wrong? Do you want me to come with? Oh, um, if you could just help me get the dresses and the garment back, then you can be on your way. Okay. I love you so much, Reggie. You're getting another raise. You know it. Okay. You did it. I did it. Thank you. Uh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Oh. Oh, 
all things considered, I'm happy you're here. Hmm. Where were you all night? Out. Out where? Does it matter? No. Why don't we get you all dressed? Um, yes. They should all fit. Nothing has changed. You really did all of this last night? Yes, up until the last minute, literally. <laughs> I guess I'd better go get cleaned up as well. Stay. At the very least, you should see these dresses on them. Yes. At the very least. Back. Cindy. Mm. Rise and shine, young lady. <laughs> Cindy, wake up. The ladies are on their way down. You won't oh. want to miss this. <laughs> It's perfect. Oh, thank you. Uh, where is Rebecca? She deserves all our praise and more. I certainly hope you stitched one together for yourself, Cindy. Oh, oh, oh no, this is your party. And you look beautiful, you look stunning. Oh, thank you, dear. I was somewhat partial to the chocolate fondue motif, but it'll do. <laughs> all right, everyone, photos. Over here, come on. Gerald, come. Right between us, please. Right up. Yes. Hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Hi. I'll be right back, okay? I'm so sorry I'm late. Traffic was a nightmare. Rebecca. Oh. Darling, we are at a loss for words. Oh. Oh, it's the most perfect dress I've ever worn. Yes, and mine makes me look 20 years younger. Oh. <laughs> or maybe that was the brandy. Your choices are incredible. Perhaps you should heap your praise on the person who actually deserves the credit. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> it may say Rebecca Raslin in all the headlines, but she is not the one who designed these dresses. Ronan, don't, please. I'm sorry, but that's simply... Cindy is more than just the head seamstress. She is the genius behind all of this. How could you say such a thing? <laughs> because it's true. I watched her do it. You watched her do what? Sketch, cut, construct, all of it. Last night so that you all could look so incredible. You were with her last night? Yes, I was. I helped. Sort of. It was a privilege to watch you work. She deserves recognition, Ms. Raslin. At the very least, a little gratitude. Rebecca, this can't be true. I built a world-renowned brand from the ground up, and I take great pride in that. But for the last five years, the credit for this goes to... This is long overdue, young lady. I am so confused. You mean, she is actually Rebecca Raslin? No, not literally. But for all practical purposes, she certainly is. You saved the day once again, young lady. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a shock. All right, everyone, the guests will be arriving any minute. Ronan, we have much to discuss before they get here. 
The press will want to know your reaction to the king's decision. You've bided your time long enough, and I don't want to lose you. What would you say to becoming my partner? <laughs> you know, really? Your partner? Well, after tonight, my house is going to be more prestigious than ever. Deal. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rebecca. <laughs> Come in. Let it go. Is that by order of the Queen? Yes, and I agree. You've been like a son to me all these years, Ronan. I'm looking out for you. Is it because she doesn't meet the royal standard? You can't just fall in love with a common American girl. She's not common at all. I've heard you say that before. This time it's different. I'm responsible for you here. I give your mother my word. And yes, she's a lovely girl, but not quite the mold. And like it or not, that's the world we live in. But the same world that you will soon have other, more pressing responsibilities. I guess I was just feeling impulsive, out of character, spontaneous. Try being a good member of the royal family instead. Who else could I possibly be? Then it's going to get awkward. I think we're expected to cut a rug. You know, we'll have to cut something anyway. <laughs> how come you didn't tell me how you felt about everything? Because you didn't want to hear it. I suppose you're right. Um, nothing happened between me and Cindy. Yes, it did. It's been happening for a while now. I think you just might be in love with her. Julie, please, I... It's all right. It's not like I've been completely counting on this arrangement either. I mean, I wanted it, true, for different reasons. I see now how different we are. If I'm being honest, I have felt a bit obliged to it. Stop worrying about tradition and what everyone thinks. You sound like Cindy. Then she must be in love with you, too. Ronan, you're a great man. I'm just a different kind of person. Less romantic, more practical. <laughs> now there's a Hamilton I could wrap my arms around. Ooh, Bill? If he plays his cards right, he's going to be president one day. And I always thought it would be rather fun to be the first lady. And what does that leave me? Happily ever after, if you play your cards right. Suddenly feeling a bit impulsive. Go for it. I won't tell anyone where you've gone. Thank you, Virginia. Have fun.
What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at the ball? Not without you. everyone half your age. Age is a number they put on your death certificate. <laughs> Youth is a state of mind. Is this how it's supposed to end? No. This is just the beginning. And I dare you to be spontaneous. for the next chapter of your life? Lean on each other here. Isn't that the song that we... The Night We Fell in Love? Hallmark's all-new collection of spring movies. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Spring Fling, every Saturday night at 9. Starts March 20th.